Hi, I'm Philip Hoffmeyer, and in this video, we're going to look at the kick serve. Now, the kick serve can give people a lot of trouble, but what I'm going to try to do is demystify it a little bit by showing some simple concepts and then give you a series of progressions that connect with those concepts to make it easier to understand and learn. So, to start off with, There really is one thing that needs to happen when you hit a kick serve. You need to get the, the tennis ball spinning on a 45 degree axis. If you can do that, the kick serve is solved. So whatever mechanics and whatever uh, body position, whatever grip you use, it's all working towards getting the ball to spin on a 45 degree axis. Um, and why is that? Well. If the ball's spinning on a, on a vertical axis, it's going to curve through the air that way, bounce, and then continue traveling in that direction because it's landing on a part of the ball that's not spinning. But the thing about the kick serve is that if you make a ball spin on the 45 degree axis, it has the same shape as the slice serve in the air, but because when it lands, it lands on a part of the ball that's actually spinning, once it hits the deck, it jumps to the left. In my case is a left-hander so the so the kick serve is also called the twist serve for that reason because it twists this way in the air and then that way once it lands and that's what makes it very difficult to receive and the other reason which makes kick serve great is that it dips down and so it's a shot that you can play with a bit more reliability um, right so the thing is how do you get the ball to spin on that 45 degree axis well one way to think about it, and this is where it's uh, quite similar to the forehand actually. So if you think of the topspin forehand as this 90 degree arc over here, pointing down, diagonally there, making contact horizontally and going to there, right? It's that arc. Well, the kick serve is quite simply that forehand action, but behind your head. And instead of it being down there to there, now it's from horizontal to vertical. So it's that same 90 degree segment, which is just twisted a bit. So I hope that helps make sense uh, of this basic principle. All you're trying to do is get the ball spinning on a 45 degree axis, and it's, a, it's basically a forehand, but behind your head. Right, the next thing to think about is, well, actually when you, with most tennis strokes, you go through the same sort of three uh, phases when you learn something. There's the grip, there's the body, and then there's the swing. And it's generally in that order. So if you get the grip right, in the case of the, the, the kick serve, the serve, it's the continental grip or the chopper grip. You can look that up on, on the internet, but basically it's as if you were chopping vegetables. That's the continental grip, right? The second thing to think about is the stance. Now, the stance for the kick serve is side on. So if your target is that way, you want to be facing that way. And that's the, the position you want to be in for as much of the serve as you can. So you'll start sideways and you'll swing parallel to the baseline like that and only turn forwards after the serve. You'll see that if you have a look at Roger Federer online, Google kick serve and you'll see how he swings. Now to explain that with my early analogy with the forehand, um, let me bring the camera around to the side. Okay. Put that over there. Okay. So, my sideways, if that was where the topspin pro would be, and you were swinging your forehand like that, the kick surf is behind your head, and you're doing exactly the same motion parallel to the baseline. Can you see how it's down the baseline? So that is uh, the second point, the sideways position. Now let's talk a little bit about the swing shape itself. Um, let me get the camera straight. Right. So the key thing with the swing, uh, the key thing with the swing is that there has to be upward motion after contact. So if we look at that, that segment I described earlier from horizontal to vertical, this is the key part of the kick serve, right? You're making contact there at 45 degrees at the diagonal, but it's 
from there to there is the most crucial part of the swing. So if you imagine your racket's horizontal, it goes to 45 for contact, and then afterwards it has to travel upwards. This bit here has to happen. What's quite common at this stage is people do that, and then they end up with slice, right? You must make sure you swing upwards to that vertical position before anything else happens. Now there are two useful ways to do that. The one is to toss the ball behind your head so that it forces you to be in that position. And the second really uh, useful thing to do is to video yourself. Because you'll be able to see in the video, and especially when you slow it down in slow motion, is, is my racket going up after contact? And that way you'll be able to avoid that motion. Because so many people end up doing that because they think, they think they're doing this, but they end up doing that. Right. Okay, so let's get on to the progressions. Now, because those are the basic concepts we talked about. Um, grip, body, and swing. Now, what can we do that helps us learn those things in a sort of a useful sequence for developing your, your kick swing? Well, we're gonna start off with the Tossman Pro. Uh, it wouldn't be a Tossman video, Tossman, Tossman video without Tossman Pro. So, you wanna hold that at 45 degrees, and then you wanna take your racket horizontal, and swing it through that 90 degree arc, just brushing the ball. You wanna do 20 or 30 of those, just to make sure that motion is comfortable and make sure your racket is finishing vertical like that. Once that feels comfortable, um, put your racket on your shoulder and hold the top and pro more above your head. So you were doing it there first, and now you're gonna do it above your head, right? right. So it's over there. And from there, you go up. Same thing. You're going through that 90 degree arc to vertical. Again, do that several times until it feels comfortable or your arm gets too tired and you need to take a break. Uh, right, then, you're gonna grab a ball. A couple of balls. And this is a great, grill, great drill to test whether that's working or you're doing that correctly, right? Because you wanna know you can toss the ball up and you know, go from, from horizontal to vertical and stop. That's the trick, is can you stop and still hit the ball? So I'm moving quite far away from you so, that, so you, I can see my racket. We're gonna do there. I might have to tilt down. There. That's right, that's all you have to do. From there. Oops. Oh, not very good. Okay, and again, up, there. You hear the, the noise it makes on the string, that's the spin. And I'm making sure that I'm going up and stopping at vertical. Oh, well, not great, I'll do another one. Get there. Ah, that was the best so far. Right, so that is a great drill to get that feeling of upward swinging. Uh, next up, what should we do next? Ah, okay, the next drill is to come back to the, the sideways point. Now, what I forgot to mention earlier with sideways, the reason you want to swing parallel to the baseline is because the temptation with the, with the serve is often to swing around like that, right? The shoulder comes around and that ruins all your chances of hitting a kick serve because you end up doing a slight serve or a regular serve and you're swinging towards your target. You really want to be swinging parallel to the, the baseline and keeping the shoulder back for as long as possible. And one of the tricks for doing that is actually having this leg a bit further back. So instead of standing sideways like that, you want to stand sideways with the back leg a bit further back. That pulls your hip back and that also makes it hard to get this shoulder the whole way around. Which leads me on to my next um, uh, progression. And this time you're on your, your, you'll be down with your one knee on the ground. And that's, and the reason you see drills like this where, where people have got one knee or both knees on the ground, that's to lock the body into position so that it doesn't get involved in the shot. It's a constraint that forces you to swing in the correct way and that's how we're gonna use it over here. So, you wanna put your, uh, if you're left-handed like me, your left knee on a little mat just to protect it and your right knee further forward or vice versa if you are uh, right-handed. And now you're gonna start 
In this position here again, horizontal. Get to toss it up and just finish straight. You can hear that noise again, the spins there. We're swinging parallel to the baseline. a hard drill as I've just proved um, you want to do that 20 or 30 or 40 balls in fact you don't want to move on to the next progression until that one feels quite comfortable it's hard because it's hard to toss in the same place so persevere and forgive yourself if you're not getting it right every time um, but it's one of the most useful drills you'll ever do to help with the kick serve um, And unlike what I've done there, I want the transition uh, sometimes to the next drill, once you're comfortable with that one, should be quite quick because you want to use that same motion. So let's say you're on your knees, you do one of those, then you want to stand straight up, still there, left leg if you're left handed for the back, or your back leg for the back, toss it up, and enter the court. Uh, they don't have to necessarily go in at first. It's just getting that use of that shape and swinging upwards after contact and staying sideways for as long as you possibly can. Again, you might even want to take the, do, do these progressions over several days because the, as, they, as you get further along, they get more and more difficult because you're starting to do things which are a bit more uh, away from the contact area. In the beginning, we were just focusing on this bit. Now we're focusing more on your body, your body position and a fuller swing. So if we now move to the trophy position, in fact, you might want at this point, go back to still ball training. So we're here now. The rackets over here, it's almost like a the, the hack position, like the uh, Ryan Reed often refers to the birthday hack. So it's in front of your body. You've got a sort of soft wrist. You're holding the top of the pro head. I'm not sure about the helicopter. <laughs> it's holding the top of your head like that, 45 degrees. And then you're going to drop it down the back and swing. Drop it down the back and swing. You can, if you want, let that racket drop over like that and hang. See how my arms parallel to the base, like, baseline like that? It's, it's horizontal. But the racket's dropped down. See if you can do that. So you start in trophy, you drop it down, and you do that. Trophy, drop it down, and that. And then, we do the same thing, but into the court. So you're in the trophy position. Oh, I missed that one. But again, from trophy, swing, hit the ball, and stop in that position there. There we go. Do a couple more of those. Good spin on that one. Again, I'm not doing it here, but I should have. Get that left leg further back. Trophy position. And finish in like that. Try that one more. Trophy, left leg back. There we go. Right, now it's time to go to the full swing. Again, a day may have passed. You really want to get comfortable with one, doing it correctly before you move to the next stage. So now we've got the, the Tossman Pro at 45 again. Now we're starting over here, going through the whole swing. And instead of finishing there, we can go through to there, right? So start in the ready position, and we go up. So do a bunch of those again until it feels comfortable. And now we're ready for the full serve. very well. Okay. That's better. Nice kick to the left. Let me see if I can do one or two more good ones. Yeah. Out to the left. Right. 
Right, so just to recap, the serve, the kick serve, is literally a ball that spins on a 45 degree axis. Um, it's a forehand, but behind your head. And the ways to go about it are getting three things right. Your grip, your stance, stay sideways for as long as you can. And then make sure when you swing, you're swinging up. It's that bit after contact that goes upwards. It's the most cru crucial part of the swing. I hope those progressions help you. Uh, please leave your, your thoughts on them um, in the comments and let me know how your kick is working.